What's up everyone, welcome back to Nathan's Life. So today we're actually looking at the Wizard x 220s by uh, Ishin, Ichain, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is the upgraded version over the X220 because uh, of all of, of its all-in-one ESC, I think it's called. Um, I'm not a drone expert, by the way. So if I say something wrong, please, please bear with me. So... Firstly, you can see here, it comes with five extra sets of props, which is basically 20 props. And yeah, it's actually pretty cool that they that they add in so many props, though. Um, I've flown it, actually, like this is me from the future, but I've flown it a couple of times, and it's actually like pretty decent, it hasn't broken or anything. So there you can see the Runcam 3 or GoPro Euro Session injection molded camera holder or whatever you want to call it. So next is the US plug and they included a US to EU adapter which is actually pretty nice because I am in Ireland at the moment. Um, so here next is a FlySky FSI6X controller I think it is. It's actually well transmitter. It's a really nice transmitter though and I'll actually walk you through how to set it up in a few seconds or a few minutes depending. Um, so it's actually a really nice controller. I really like the um, the sticks on it, and the sticks have like a sharp point thing to it, which is actually pretty cool. And all the aux switches and everything, I'll show you how to enable that. Um, so the next thing here is the 4S included battery, because this is an RTF um, drone. And it's actually pretty cool that they include a 1500 mAh um, battery, which is really nice, and I get some decent flight time out of it though. Um, so next here, let's actually see, this is the battery charger, and I'd probably upgrade that in the future. Um, so next thing we're looking at, and they, it actually came with some accessories, and these are some rubber, well, foam feet you can put at the bottom, I did that. And this is some um, uh, carbon fiber spanners, but I probably just use my ratchet, uh, ratchet set. And I think next is your pagoda antenna. Please attach that like instantly as soon as you take the drone out. I did. Just just saying, please, yeah. So please put that on first, otherwise you'll burn out your uh, VTX. That's some extra screws, and these are your prop nuts, clockwise and anti-clockwise. So next here, you'll see the drone. It's actually got a really nice packaging though, like I love the way it's packed. So here you can see the LEDs at the back, they're really bright by the way. And I love the overall construction about it. It's got 2300 kV motors inside, and Ishin camera I think and an anti-slip battery math thing there um, and as you can see the ESCs are actually the ESC is actually uh, all-in-one so it's inside underneath the flight flight controller I think and it's not on the arms like the model before this but I'll still probably zip tie those wires down and as you can see this is a really nice um, drone and next, I'll show you how to set up the transmitter and how to set up the drone in beta flight. So, here we go. Okay, so you're going to have to take your micro USB and then you plug that into the part next to on the right side of your drone, I think. Yeah, the right side of your drone. But um, I'd have the receiver, I mean the transmitter, on too. So, let's quickly turn that on. So my transmitter is on you don't have to do anything there and then you just plug this in and remember to take off your props please just you know for safe measure measure it will start to boot up and that's that's it connected so we'll jump over to the pc again so here you can see um, I have GitHub open. I'll have this in the link in the description. Go away, AVG. Um, so you'll see here, um, this is Betaflight Configurator. Um, and you'll probably have to download the one for Windows if you're running Windows or 
Mac or Linux or Fedora. Um, so he'll go down here and he'll just click on the specific one you want and I've already downloaded it. So then uh, you click on that and you just run through the install. So you won't have that one, that's my old version. This is the new one, Petaflake Configurator. So after your quad is plugged in, you click on Betaflight Configurator and should, okay, I have it open. So let me just disconnect for a moment. So firstly, um, what I did is I wanted to upgrade first, but because updating is probably like the best idea when you just get the quad. So you click update, you click on your specific um, board. I've got the Omnibus F4 SD and he'll click the newest one and he'll play around here and click flash until it actually flashes. Um, yeah, because I actually had to do this with my Mac because this wouldn't really work for me. But Joshua Bradroll said like playing around with these will work apparently. So just click that again. So then after you've updated everything, you can just click connect and you can actually copy all these all these settings and everything from me. I think it should work for you. But I set it up and everything. As you can see, my um, gyro and everything is actually working pretty amazingly. Um, so firstly, you'd go into parts. You go to URT6 and enable serial RX. And yeah, so you'd go into configuration. Quad X for the eSheen X20S, obviously. DSHOT 600. I turn motor stop off because I want, uh, yeah, so I want motors to be spinning when I arm it. Um, so you can just, yeah, you can just like copy all these from me. And yeah, these are like personal choice beeping and everything. I just disabled it for USB so it's like quieter when I'm working on it. So um, here, yeah, here you can actually, um, yeah, this is your battery voltage and everything, so you can just play around with that and see what works for your battery, but I haven't tested it yet, and I have tested if the low battery warning works, and it actually does. Um, so, yeah, you just have to play around with the voltages and see what's the safe voltage for your battery and everything like that. I do not know much about the PIDs, but um, here I can just quickly show you my controller settings so far after I've bound it and everything so you can see everything's actually like working pretty amazingly um, so in the receiver uh, menu you can actually see your receivers um, positions on the sticks as you can see there and these are all supposed to be 1500, 1500, 1000, 1000, 1000 and as you can see the quads completely stole. That's exactly what you want. So here I'll actually show you how to change your sub trim and yeah this is how you do it on the FlySky controller. So as you can see here we have the FlySky FSI6X I think. Um, so here I'm just gonna basically show you how to enable these switches for arming because at the moment I think this is for arming, which is not right. Well, I mean, it's okay, but like, oh yeah, this is one feature about the controller. So, throttle has to be down, and all switches have to be up for it to actually turn on. And so basically, what do you want to do to add, to connect those switches, to enable them? Hold down, oh, hold on, okay. You'll connect there. And then you go to system, you go down to, where is that? You go down to aux switches, and you turn all these aux, on, uh, aux switches on, and you click on channel, uh, and you click on that, and you bring that up to channel 10. You hold, cancel, you exit out of there, and next I'm going to show you how to do the sub trim, like I showed you in Betaflight. Well, I'm going to show you if I didn't show it already. Um, so, you go into Setup, OK, and then you go to Sub Trim. So, once this is connected to Betaflight, or Betaflight, 
um, you'll be able to see, like I explained, it could be like 1480 and it has to be 1500. So then you just, you just adjust all these settings for the sticks um, until it's actually at, at your preferred setting in beta flight, like 1500. And then, once again, hold cancel. Um, but at the moment, this is just set up for the trainer on my PC, so let me just quickly switch the models again. Um, I do not know how to save this. Probably like that. Yeah, so let me just show you for example. Um, sub trim. So as you can see, like, that one, I th I'm not too sure whether that is. I think that's roll in any case. But that's set a bit to the left because it was too... I think it was like 1510 something. And it should be 1500. So you just save that. And I'd say that is your FlySky um, FSI6X set up. Or I think it's the same for the FSI6 too. Um, but yeah, that's it for the transmitter. So let's move over to beta flight. So next, you go into modes, and first thing is ARM. I've got this on AUX3, which is uh, switch A, I believe. Angle mode is on switch A, B, C. Yeah, angle mode is on switch C all the way up, because I'm still a beginner. Horizon is in the middle of switch C. And the beeper is on aux 6, which I believe is switch D. I think it's switch D. And LED low is on switch B. Um, so I can just turn the LEDs off when I'm working on it or even during the day flying so it doesn't drain as much battery too. And air mode is on switch C at the, f at the bottom. And I think that's it for the modes. Um, so here you can see the motors, just make sure that's spinning in, in, and in, and that's perfect exactly like that. So on screen display you can just run through that, and you can just click everything you want there, which you prefer. And my VTX, I haven't configured and everything yet, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's supported here. LED strip, um, so you probably go into wire ordering mode. You just hold that and click there, click there, and then the way I've done it is click arm state and you'd highlight everything. So disarmed it will be red, armed it will be green, and it has indicators to indicate which way you're going, up, down, or whatever, everything like that. So black box I haven't touched on this yet, um, I'm not too sure about this, so I think this is just for the logs and everything. And CLI is basically just like a terminal. And let's quickly just wait here for this one. Okay, so you can just, uh, this is like check your version and everything. So you can see I've got the latest version, uh, 4.25, which is the newest one, I think. And yeah, so you can actually enable expert mode, which I should have probably done. But, um, oh yeah. So it just disconnects once you get out of the CLI, I think. So power and battery, we went through that. Um, fail safe, you'd set your fail safe to stage two and drop. And I haven't set anything else on that. Um, yeah. Um, pit tuning, like I said, I do not have much idea about that. Receiver, I told you how to set that up modes. And adjustments, I'm not sure about that too. Servo, same. Motors, I told. And... These are the sensors, like the gyros and everything. Um, I do not know what this, uh, this is. So, yeah, because that's basically everything. So you can probably like just copy everything from me. You select serial-based receiver specs at iBus there. And like I said, like you can just tune everything to your liking over here. And that's basically it, guys. And yeah, so I think we're going on to some flying actually now. So 
let's go. Um, so the next thing here is a bit obviously the props. So you can just copy what I have here basically. So the way I see it is you see these fins these little fins there. I don't know if I can focus now. But yeah, those little fins, they, uh, that's basically a wind marker for me. So these two front ones, these two front props move in. Just focus. Yeah, they move in. And these two move in like that. So you're always going to want them. So it's basically like directional wing markers whatever so that's gonna move like that that's gonna move like that that's gonna move like that and that's gonna move inwards like that so basically um the bag i got had an r on it so it had an r on that so this is the r prop so you, you can see it's not it's not that prop the r prop comes on comes on um, the top left one and the bottom right one I assume yes it is and yeah because that's the anti-clockwise one with the black knot there black knot there and that is in the other package which goes on there and there so yeah that's basically it so time for a test flight so this is the first test flight let's go so Transmit her on, unarmed, throttle zero, let's go. Thank you for watching this video, so in the next video I'll be unboxing and showing the Eshin EV800 goggles I think, and um, I'll be reviewing them and hopefully soon I'll actually do an FPV, um, FPV video, hopefully I can get a Roncam 5 Ranger I think, that I can actually start doing FPV videos. But um, yeah, that's it for today, so thank you so much for watching, this is really exciting, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and enjoy FPVing if you do FPV. I don't know, but yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, lads!